Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Geometries in Comsol Multiphysics. Today we will be talking about explicit selections in Comsol geometries. We have already uploaded several videos in this particular playlist which will help you developing your model step by step. Whatever geometry you are working with, if you go through the entire playlist that will guide you and that's why I request you to watch the entire playlist. So now we go to today's topic, we will be creating a simple geometry and then I will tell you what is explicit selections and what are the utilities of that. So initially I choose one rectangle, let us take an arbitrary value of width, say height is 1, width is 3, I click on build selected, then again I select another square and let us take the side say 0.2 and let us put the square at the middle somewhere so initially I choose center let us take it at the middle x is 1.5 y is around 0.5 I click on build all objects so you see I have created a square at the bottom at the middle now I take another rectangle because I want to make a partition at the middle. So what I do, I put it uh, with this 3 and height I make half of the initial that is 0.5. So it has cut the thing from the middle. Now the idea is suppose you are developing a simulation where you have 3, 4 different domains. So what is happening? So you have say this particular section is an obstacle and there might be I mean two phase flow happening here. So it might be this bottom portion has water and the upper portion has oil. So you just want to create some nomenclature that this is the domain it will contain water. Say this is the domain this will contain water and the upper section will contain oil and the smaller section this is the obstacle that is placed in the flow field so we want to define it so see for this simple geometry definition is not required but you might be working with a complicated geometry where every time choosing a particular section will be difficult so in that case if we choose this explicit section then it will help you so you'll come to know once we go ahead with the video so you have to go to definitions and you can see here there is one option that is explicit so you click on it so explicit will come here under the definition now suppose I want to select the upper portion so I click here I can rename it right click on it there is an option rename say the upper portion is say I put here oil whatever you can put even if I have told water is there we can just change it so for the time being let us keep oil at the top again choose another explicit I am choosing the bottom one I say I write it water so initially it was oil and this is water now another explicit selection for this portions these two portions say and suppose you have a bimetallic strip here so might be the upper portion is metal strip I mean just I'm just thinking say metal one and I choose another explicit for this say I write it metal 2 now why am I doing it you will understand in a short while suppose now I want to choose material say I right click on it add material say recent material water yeah so now it is automatically I mean the entire geometry is chosen because you can see here the selection is all domains so if you click on 
the drop down menu now you can see you have multiple options coming coming so what i do is this is water so let me choose water so it will automatically select the portion where i have defined water so you can just cross check it yeah this was the water now i can choose water here now again if you put another material say oil any kind of oil you can put because this is for the learning purpose only suppose oil is not here solid anyway this for learning purpose suppose I choose uh, I choose any object here say this is the object and I rename it as oil obviously the properties will be different but as for the learning purpose I was not getting oil in the list that's why I have just made I have assumed this is oil so now what I do is I select manually and I choose oil so the upper portion is selected now I have shown you with respect to the material even now if you have a physics also suppose I add physics I choose laminar flow now in this case I want to make initial geometries initial values actually so already one initial value is there now if you take another initial value then I mean where exactly you want to define so it is manual so if I click on the drop down I can choose say this is the water so this water I mean you put the initial values for water so this is how you can be I mean selective while choosing those sections so the, those domains now this is for the domains that means this specific domain now what if if I want to select the edges because the boundary condition we might be putting at the edges not at the solution space so for that also you have this adjacent selection so if I click on here one adjacent selection has come now let me choose say these are the inlets so I rename it as inlet Now suppose in the laminar flow I want to put one inlet so I just go to manual and I get the option inlet so it is chosen so inlet is uh, here it is automatically chosen now you can take another option also suppose outlet also you can define say this one is say outlet so this particular one and you can rename it to outlet yeah this is done now in the laminar flow you can have an outlet so this might be the outlet you can choose like this way or you go to manual or choose outlet okay so this is how you can make use of this adjacent and explicit selections and those are very important as you carry on with complicated simulations. So I hope this particular video helped you and hence I request you to subscribe to my channel so that I, so that I get motivated to upload more videos. Today I am stopping here. Thank you.